and yeah, I've been away for way too long. Uh, uh, someone said to me the other day, oh, you've abandoned your channel, and I was like, it's been like two weeks. Oh no, it's like eight weeks, and I'm really sorry, but um, yeah, life just got in the way. Anyway, I was at, I'm not massively religious, for many reasons, but I was, I, do you mind? Dog. Um, I was at a remembrance service last night at church, and um, I like to go to that one because I think it's really important to remember everyone who's not here anymore, or just to reflect and it really got me thinking about like how far I've come, how far I've still got left to go and I just thought that I would make a video record of my goals for 2017. I'm not calling them New Year's resolutions because I don't stick to them. It's just not going to happen to be honest. Like, no. And they're not really things that you can like, it's not like I'm stopping smoking because I don't smoke in the first place or anything like that. It's, it's just kind of things that I've kind of always wanted to do but now I feel ready to do. So yeah, I thought I would put this on YouTube and then I have no excuse to not at least try. Okay, so the first thing is kind of different from everything else. It is not necessarily about me as a person, but it's something that I've always wanted to do or have done for at least the last 10 years. And that is to go to Old Trafford and watch a football match because I support Manchester United. I've seen them play a few times, including at Wembley, and that it was amazing. Even more amazing because we won. But yeah, um, and okay, I thought I had lipstick on my teeth, but I don't thank God for that. Um, it's just something that I've always wanted to do. Like it, it just the atmosphere looks incredible, and I've always, I've just wanted to go for so long, and I feel like by writing it down and putting it out there that I want to do it, it will give me the motivation to save up and actually go and do it. So fingers crossed that I actually do. Moving on to things that are kind of like about myself. I really don't like talking about myself but it's for a good reason so it's fine I suppose. Yeah so the first one is, oh I have, I have my list written down here in case I forget. It is to look after my skin more. I mean I'm not the worst like I do wash my face and stuff obviously I'm a normal human being but I definitely feel like there's more that I could do to look after it like because think about it right your skin is what protects everything it, it just protects everything and why shouldn't you look after it and yeah my skin is in an alright condition like it's not bad but it's not great and I just think it could be a lot better if I looked after it more so yeah So the third thing is to eat better. I'm not very good at eating. Well, I am, but I'm not. I'm always eating, but not the right things, basically. Um, I kind of have one meal a day, and then I just eat ready, salty, crisps and frosties the rest of the time. So yeah, that's not good. And I just think, I'm not someone who will ever be like, oh, I'll drink eight glasses of water a day because I hate water. I don't like the taste of it. It makes me even more thirsty than I was before. So I'll just stick to having it in tea. But yeah, no, I feel like I should definitely um, eat better. There's so many like good foods out there that taste great and are actually really good for you. So I really need to get into that and just... I think I'd have more energy and more motivation to do stuff as well because at the moment I just don't. I'm just feeling so like icky all the time and I think that's because I don't eat properly and I'm well aware that I don't eat properly. Okay so the fourth one is kind of like a, a funny thing, it is to sing more. I, I love singing my entire life like 
I just I loved it and then for the last like year 18 months ish I've just not sang at all like I'm not I don't like sing publicly just in my room or in the car but recently I've I started the reason I haven't sang is because I've not felt confident enough to and I've not been happy enough to but recently my life is heading in the right direction and I am getting there so I do sing along if I like a song that's on, if I know the words or like a song that's on the radio I'll sing along and I just love it and it makes me feel so good and so happy and why would I not continue to do that so I definitely need to sing more the next one is to make more time for my friends now I am someone who has a lot of friends and I'm really grateful for every single one of them but they don't live locally to me like they're literally all over the country from like Southampton to Liverpool they are all over the country and it's not easy to see them but I feel like they make me so happy when I'm with them and I just have the best time with them why would I not make more of an effort? I'm not saying I'm going to go see them every weekend because I'm not I can't afford to, the train fare is ridiculous but definitely more often because, you know, they make me happy and we always have the best time and every time I see someone it's like, oh I'll see you soon, we won't leave it as long a year later we still haven't seen each other so I want to change that and I want to like make more of an effort to go and see them and make more of an effort to invite them to come to mine or whatever and just just see them more because my friends are the best the next one is to talk more now what i mean by that is to talk more about any issue that i'm having or how i'm feeling because i am one of the people who if something bothers me I won't say anything I will just keep it in and keep it in and then different things will start bothering me and it will just build up and up and up and then all of a sudden I just I snap and I break and I just cry for six hours that's happened many times so yeah I feel like I should talk more like all of my friends have said you know I'm always here if you want to talk and I hope they know that I'm also always here for them if they need to talk because I am um, but I um, yeah like maybe I should take them up on it more and just talk to them a bit more and if something is bothering me just talk to someone whoever it is like it's not gonna hurt me it's, it's gonna make me feel better and I feel like it would just do my mental health the world of good as well so I'm gonna try and do that whether it works I don't know next time I cry for six hours I'll probably realize that it hasn't but there you go even if I just do it once more than I usually do because I don't usually do it it would be a step in the right direction like I'm not gonna be I I'm not going to be able to just do it straight away, it's not going to happen like that, but hopefully I'll get there. The next one is to be more creative. I'm quite a creative person, not artistically because I can't draw or paint to save my life, but I've, I, like, I, English was one of my favourite subjects at school, I loved the creative writing aspect of it and I just... I love just being creative in some way and I definitely haven't been creative very often um, recently so that is definitely something I want to start doing more because there's so many ideas in this thing and I just I don't ever make them ha actual things or whatever I just sort of think about them and leave it at that but maybe I should j just go for it and just if I have an idea just write it down and then go back to it if I want and just just do more with the creativity that I have and I think alongside that I want to read more because I, I loved reading as a child like I talked 
taught myself to read before I went to school. That makes me sound really intelligent and I'm not that intelligent. But yeah, so and I was always re you'd always see me with my head in a book when I was like a child. And then I got to like secondary school and it was just, just like, oh I don't have time. And I just sort of got out of the habit but I feel like I'm, I definitely miss it and I'm going to definitely try and read more. I'm going on two holidays next year. So I don't really have an excuse not to at least read there. So, yeah. The next one is to walk more or just get out more. And the reason I've put that down is because me and my mum just we walk the dog once a day each so she does it in the morning and I do it in the evening and I prefer to do it when it's dark because my anxiety is like well if it's in the dark no one will see you. That's obviously not true but it's, when it's darker it's harder to kind of think oh that's that person so I, I've always walked him in the dark but as I've got older I've come to realise that I, I live in such a beautiful place like if you've ever seen the holiday the little village the little British village my village kind of looks a bit like that it's just so quintessentially British wow that was a big word wasn't it I've not said that ever I don't think anyway and I just I love it I love walking I used to walk around it a lot in the daytime and just take pictures by the river or take a picture of a house that I thought was really pretty or a tree. It makes me sound really weird but I, I am someone who can really appreciate like if somewhere is just stunning I will just, I can appreciate that like it's to me it's not just a group of trees. I don't really know where I'm going with this so I'm going to stop now. But yeah, I want to get out in the daytime hopefully because I feel like if I do that would build my confidence a little bit and I might get to see people and talk to people and just engage more with everything and yeah so that's that. The next one is to appreciate my family more. Now obviously I'm grateful for my family and I'm well aware of all that they do for me but what I mean by this is over the last six years um, my immediate family so like my grandparents my mum and my mum's sister and her husband so my auntie and uncle like they're my immediate family um, but over the last six years um, I have very nearly lost three of them my grandparents and my mum and I kind of before that I suppose I took advantage of the fact that they would be here because in your head you just think well they've been here all my life so that's how it's going to be even though you know deep down that no one lives forever you kind of just think oh well they've, they've always been around so they always will be and um, in over the last six years I have come to the realisation that that is not the case people do not live forever and things can change at the drop of a hat you know it doesn't matter you can literally just go to work and not come home for a month like my mum did like things can just happen so unexpectedly and I just want to appreciate the time that I do have with them um, because yeah and I and it feels like really ridiculous that it's taken me a year since my mum's accident to kind of realise that but at the time all you're, all you're doing is concentrating on getting through each day because it's such a new situation to be in like my mum's been on holiday and left me at home for a week but she was there to contact if I wanted you know she she set me up so I was prepared for it with her accident she just went to work and didn't come home so you know it's it's a difficult situation to be put in and yeah like it's taken me a year because I was just getting through each day by day but now she's like 95% back to how she was before her accident I've realised that maybe I should do more with her 
just make more memories with her and stuff like that I just think it's and obviously my grandparents and aunties and uncle as well I just think it's so important so important and last but by no means least I want to continue to be positive really recently like in the last three months I'd say I've really started focusing on the positive of a situation and not the negative and honestly I feel so much better for it like I feel so good and it's amazing and I can't believe I why I didn't do it before I I don't understand why I didn't but I didn't so anyway it's not much I can do about it now but um I've definitely made a few changes myself um, in terms of how I deal with things and I've also started talking to professionals and stuff as well and I feel like it's working now because I'm ready for it to work. I really don't feel like you can ever, um, I don't feel like you can force yourself to be ready if you have like counselling or something because you, you can't and it's not going to help you unless you're ready and I must be ready because I, in the last year I have completely changed, like I'm not the person I was a year ago and that's a good thing, like a really good thing, like I just thought I'd be stuck in the pit of darkness forever and now I'm finally starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel like it's a really small bit of light because I've still got a really long way to go but for so long I was so far away from the end that like I didn't see anything at all so it just feels really nice to kind of feel like I'm actually getting somewhere and that things will improve so yeah long may it continue as well so that is my goals for 2017 whether I stick to them I don't know but I'm gonna try and just because it's my goals for 2017 it doesn't mean I'm not gonna start now it's not like oh I'm not gonna do that until the 1st of January because that's stupid you should, if you want to make a change you should do it straight away and, and just do it and that's what I'm trying to do like I I'm trying and I'll get there and I know it's going to take a long time but I'm ready now for things to start changing in my life and I just feel so happy with so much in my life and that's and it's the first time in a really long time that that's ever happened and it's a really good feeling and I really want it to continue so yeah thank you for watching